Hey everyone, it's Christina Marie here with an empties video. I don't, I guess I can call this November empties. I mean, that makes sense, but it's just another empties video and I'm going to go through some of my stuff to show you what I've used up or what I'm this close to being done with. So let's go ahead and get started. It's all over the place from makeup to perfumes to candles to nail polish so yeah just an fyi i've been having alfalfa hair all day like right here there'll be a piece of hair that just kind of goes um, because it's not used to all laying over in this direction so if you would be so kind as to point it out to me that would be great thanks first things first that i used and i'll let you know if i love it hate it if i'll repurchase is this urban decay um setting spray in D Slick. It's an oil control makeup setting spray. This didn't work for me. It didn't, I don't know if I have like super natural oil, face oil or something, I don't know, but didn't really work for me. Um, it was just a nice little mist on my face. But yeah, it didn't work for me. I don't know if maybe I'm using it wrong. Like, I don't know if there's a right way to use it, but I'd spray it before I put my makeup on, then I put my makeup on, then I'd spray it after. I don't know, is that right? But I didn't really, it didn't do much for me, but it's empty, so I don't have to buy it again. All right, next thing is Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in Dark. This was my very first BB cream, and I liked it because it was the only one that I knew. This was probably about six months or so ago. I found something else. Um, at the time that I bought this, I loved it, but now I've been just kind of using it up and I knew I would never buy it again. And so it's finally empty and I'm not buying this again. There is, it's too light for me. I think it makes me look lighter than I am. And this is the darkest shade, which kind of makes me a little upset because Smashbox should not know better. There are women that are darker than this. So I think that needs to be addressed. Get it together, Smashbox. But yeah, not getting this again. Next is the Benefit They're Real Mascara. Love this. This is like my third or fourth tube. So I will definitely be buying this again. Um, yeah, it's, it's dried out and everything. So look at that. You can't even see it. Um, so yeah, loved it. We'll be purchasing it again. Next thing is... My Bath and Body Works um, Lotion and Cashmere Glow. I got this free sample here. This is pretty much done, if you can't tell. So I went ahead and I got the bigger one, the Triple Moisture Body Cream and the Body Spray. So, already got that. Then the next thing is from Lush. It's the Honey Trap Lip Balm. This stuff is done though. You see it's kind of like some left in the corners. I'm going to scrape this bad boy till it's no more. Because this is my nightly routine. I put this on every night and every morning. And it's almost gone. I have to go buy another one. So, love this stuff. Keeps your lips very moisturized. It's what I have on right now, actually. Because I don't have any lip gloss on. So, I decided to put this on instead. Love it. Next thing. Is a Sally Hansen Salon Manicure Base Coat. It's very thick. I love this. I love the fact that it is thick though. Um, I've had this for like two months and it's already over. It's maybe a little bit left. But uh, yeah, just a nice. I like the brush. It's a wide set brush. Love it. But um, if there's any indentations or any scrapes or scratches on your nails, it fills it in making it a nice smooth surface, so I love that. Next thing are from Tarte, and it's their Clean Slate Poreless 20, no 20, sorry, 12 Hour Perfecting Primer. I love this, love this, it's a sample that I got. And then I also love the Clean Slate Flawless 12 Hour Brightening Primer. So this was pretty awesome. I used this one for the summer, and I am I used this one for the winter time because I like to be, my skin goes really, really dull in the winter. So I like brightening primers that are oil free, that don't make me look like light bright wall. So 
love these will repurchase in the bigger size uh, speaking of primers benefits professional love this I use this in conjunction conjunction with both of the Tarte primers so I already have a, another full size of this so there's that then foundation this is my go-to foundation other than my Clinique um, acne solution foundation that's what I wear now um, because I break out like crazy but uh yeah other than that my drugstore go-to foundation all the time is this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in uh, Cocoa which is dark three I love this stuff love it um I have both dark three and dark two and I think dark two is caramel and I use caramel um right around this area just to lighten up that area of my face so yeah so I use this one and the uh caramel one all right and then last beauty save is this Revlon Colorstay liquid eye pen in black I've had this for months and it's yeah, it's 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 getting streaky. Um, it's getting the tip is really really dry, so I know it's almost done. It still gives you a little bit, but it's very streaky, and I have to like really. <clears throat> so I know it's getting down to its last legs. So I went ahead and bought a new one. But I do love this. I love the Maybelline Mastermind Precision, or I think that's what it's called, or Precision Master, or something like that masterpiece, whatever. I love that one a little bit more than this one, but I do love this one, so I went ahead and bought another one. So, it allows you to be as precise as you want to be. This is a thick line, or you can do a really thin one, but I do love it. Revlon Color Stay, great, great liquid eye pens. Maybelline as well, great. Now, I am a perfume hoarder. I have to make sure I pronounce that word right, because sometimes it comes out as the other word. Yeah. Um, so I like to collect perfumes, but I finally used them up. And so here we go. Calvin Klein Beauty. This was one of my very first perfumes. You can't really see the words, but there it is. There, Calvin Klein Beauty. I love this perfume. There's a little tiny, eeny, eeny, beeny, beeny bit left, but I loved it. it. I don't even know what it smells like. I can't describe it. I'm not good at that. Oh, I miss you. I got to get another one. It smells very grown. And I want to smell grown. I'm almost 26 years old. I want to smell grown. This was one of my very first perfumes and I love it. Um, next one is Ralph Lauren's Romance. This I, uh, I kind of always thought smelled like grandma until I put it on myself and it mixed with my pheromones or my natural scent. This is a sexy perfume. I love this. I will definitely be repurchasing this one. But, oh my goodness, it smells very heavenly. See, I keep going back to it. Oh, it just smells so good. I will repurchase this one probably in a bigger size. Next one. Um, I know I said that the Calvin Klein was my very first perfume. This one, I probably bought right before Calvin Klein or right after this is um Lady Million by uh Paco Rabanne you can't really see it but there it is in there there's my camera there you are say hi to yourself hello anyway this is my second one I've gone through two or three of these bad boys so I love the scent oh my gosh I miss it these are perfumes that I really haven't been using for a while because they're pretty much down to the wire but I re I'm starting to remember why I fell in love with these perfumes and then my last one is Dolce & Gabbana's light blue no this is not empty this is actually the second one the first one the bottle I threw away completely dried to the bone so I just went ahead and pulled this one out to show you that this was the one prior to this with I bought this one probably about a week or two ago and uh yeah it's almost gone I love this one I love Dolce & Gabbana's light blue you know what I love the men's cologne of this much better than the women's perfume I love this but light blue on a man 
is really I there are no words I love that scent I went um cologne shopping with a friend of mine and he sprayed that light blue on him and let me tell you strictly platonic he is one of my best friends but I literally almost jumped him he should not have sprayed that around me there's something about men and cologne that make me very very excited so um I told him okay we're done here we're gonna go now and you need to air out your clothes and your skin because you're making me a little flustered and so uh yeah he cracked up when I told him that because he 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 thought it was just the funniest thing in the world I said well if if what you're doing is you want to you know have women attracted to you then you're doing you're doing the right thing you're buying the right cologne he did buy it because of my reaction but you know um yeah that's my story but <laughs> back to the empties candles now you guys know I love candles I burn out two candles a week um, I have one in the living room that burns all the time and one in my bedroom over here that's burning I have frosted gingerbread that's burning right now in my room but uh here we go cinnamon sugar donut empty one of my surprise favorites um pumpkin caramel latte dunzo farmstead at farmstand apple is that what it is farmstand yeah apple i loved this one i don't usually like the scent of apple anything but loved it and you can see the three rings kind of at the bottom it won't even let me light it anymore because it's pretty much the metal part has been exposed so and yeah, this one is completely done as I've showed you in my favorites video because this is one of my favorites. And then this one, the wicks broke. So I'm pretty much done with it. The one, this is my leaves one and it's, I'm done with this one because look at it, it burned unevenly. It started off uneven and I could have returned it but this is just what you call me being too lazy because I technically got this for free. So I can't... Does it make sense to return something that, that was given to you for free? I could have exchanged it, I guess. But my friend just gave me her leaves candle because she doesn't like it. So she gave me the um, white, white barn one. So no big deal. But yeah, this is an empty because it won't burn anymore because it's faulty. You're faulty. But yeah. I love this scent. Where's the tag? There it is. I love the scent. So... I got another one but yeah those are my empties for the month of November slash probably October and September as well and part of December uh yeah so hope you guys are having a fantastic where'd that accent come from week and I will talk to you guys soon make sure you like comment and subscribe and have you guys checked out the new YouTube layout Leave a comment down below letting me know if you love it or hate it. I personally love it, but I like change. So that's probably why. So see ya.